Oh. You heard about my ex-boyfriend, right? 50 Cent and his support of of, of uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, what's going on between you? I, I saw your tweets and I go, wait, what's happening? Because you said he was your favorite ex-boyfriend and then he, what does he do? He's supporting Trump? He says he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes, which, by the way, is in a plan of Joe Biden's. That's, that's, that's a lie. So he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes because he doesn't want to go from being 50 cents to 20 cents. <laughs> and, I, and I had to remind him that he was a black person, so he can't vote for Donald Trump, and that he shouldn't be influencing an entire swath of people who may listen to him because he's worried about his own personal pocketbook. So All right, man. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. I want to talk about something that I seen and y'all just seen. Chelsea Handler. See, there's people out here. Before I get into that, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit that thumbs up. If you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down. You know what it is. Um, if you want to donate. Links to the cash app in the description. Thank y'all for all y'all donations. Appreciate it. Chelsea Handler, man. See, this is why I say white liberals have gotten to the point where they believe, and not all of them, a good percentage of them, though, they're worse than people y'all would call racist because their they're, they're overt racism or their covert racism, I should say, they hide it, but they act like they're your friend. They act like they're cool with you. They act like they're on your side. And it's just annoying to see this. So Chelsea Ando says that she has to remind 50 Cent that he can't revolt for Trump because he's black. And He's going to influence a bunch of black people. This is what I'm saying, man. These people need to be called out because first of all, who the hell are you to tell me as being a black man, as a white woman who's rich, who has money to tell me that I have to vote for somebody? Who are you to tell me that? It's like some of these white liberals, man, they crack me up because they act as if they understand black people's pain or they or they're right there with black people or see you need to do this. It's that it's that mentality of control that they have. And nobody's saying nothing about this. Nobody's talking about it. It's like, how are you going to say that's very disrespectful. And I don't understand why people are not calling her out on this. It just seems to me like it's going to get to the point where certain white people, liberals, or whatever you want to call it, if they go against Donald Trump, no matter what they say about black people, no matter what happens, no matter what happens, no matter what they say about black people, Certain black people just don't like Trump are going to justify why they said it. This is what they do. Like, like what's her name? Joy Reid. Like Joy Reid. She's defending the crime bill now. For some reason, now, all of a sudden, the crime bill was a good thing. And it all comes back to the black man. And this makes me so mad because most of these these liberals or whatever you want to call them, most of them, most of them center everything around the black man from Black Lives Matter to these white liberals to uh, uh, these black reporters, Don Lemon, uh, uh, Chris Cuomo, all of them. It all centers around the black man, not, not particularly the black woman. And I got a video that I'm going to do about Don Lemon and what he said about black people, especially black men. I got a video for him because he's bugging when he says the things he say. But to me, they look at black men in particular and certain black women that follow Trump or vote for Trump as stupid. 
but they say black lives matter. My thing is like, when it comes down to it, black, li I mean, white liberals only scream black lives matter if you're supporting their cause. If you don't support their cause, they do not care about you being a black man. You can die in the street. They don't care. They don't care. You have to support their cause, period. So for her saying, you a black man, you can't vote for Trump. That's, that's like, that is the most racist and disrespectful thing that you can say. Now, she can say she ain't racist because she dealt with a black man. No, you dealt with a black man. Yes, you did. You dealt with a black man. But they have to be on your terms. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's this notion of if you basically saying, hey, listen, if you do something different, then I'm going to turn on you, whether you black. If you're a black man, I'm going to say what I have to say. And her saying that is disrespectful. That's disrespectful because to all the people that are black that support Trump, that's disrespectful. Period. I don't care. It's the same thing you can say about Biden, but nobody on the, on, on the other side is saying, oh, well, Biden, if you support Biden as a black person, then you're racist. Oh, or you're stupid because he wrote the crime bill. So you're dumb. Nobody's saying that. Some people feel as though that Trump has a better argument or a better position, but all you white liberals saying all this stuff, they're not giving no black person a reason why they should not vote for Donald Trump. Y'all just doing all this talking. And it just makes me mad because a lot of y'all don't care about black people. People like Chelsea, she don't give a hell about black people. She don't. She looked like the type of female that only did it to go against her family or go against, what's her name? She don't genuinely like black people. She don't. So, oh, well, and, and just saying a bunch of stuff, what she said, but it's just, it's just annoying. It's disgusting and annoying to me that nobody calls these people out. And especially these black reporters, these black reporters who scream that they love black people so much. Y'all don't love black people. Y'all don't. Y'all love black people when they go with y'all cause. That's it. If you ain't going with y'all cause, what they'll call them? They skin folk. They not kin folk. That's how y'all look at it. Y'all disgusting. Y'all disgusting. And it's it's just it's just upsetting to see that. It's crazy. But again, when you allow this stuff to happen, and all these people out here, the Joy Reeds and the Don Lemons and all the rest of these, these so-called so-called black journalists, they allow that to happen. They should have checked her on that. They should have said, no, listen. Black is black in America. Just because you support Donald Trump, that don't mean that you're not black. You're still black, you know? And we're gonna support our black people. We're gonna learn how to have differences with each other, but we're gonna support our black people. But no, they don't do that. They don't do that. They don't. People like her, you don't check her. But y'all find any type of reason to try to check Donald Trump these stupid allegations or these stupid things that y'all say like oh my god donald trump said that that uh he's gonna have this cow coyotes actually bringing how can a coyote a dog bring over a child or across the border and this is what i mean this is what i mean it's disgusting i really really believe that you guys you black journalists slash activists really need to speak on black people as a whole stop picking and choosing who you want to speak on and then say that you support black people because you don't you don't if you don't check her as a black reporter or even as a black activist if you don't check her then you don't support black people you support your cause. And it just so happens that black people are part of the cause that you support. But guess what? 
If there was no black people, that, if all the black people went to the other side, then what are you going to do? What are you going to say then? That's the thing. A good percentage of black people support Donald Trump. So what are you going to say? That they don't matter because they're black. They're black. Unbelievable, man. The hypocrisy in this country coming from the black, the white liberals and, the, and these black activists is disgusting. It's disgusting. And I'm not going to be a part of it. I'm sorry. I'm not. I support all black people. And if even if they disagree with me, even if they go vote for Joe Biden, I still support black people. But I don't get on here and say that they're, they're not kin to me. They're skin folk. Torture talk, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of it. I'm sick of it. That's why I don't listen to people like Don Lemon. Because you're not about black people. You're about yourself and how you feel. You're not about black people. You're not even a newscaster anymore or a news anchor. You're an activist now because you get on there and you give people your opinion up on something. You don't actually give them the facts. None of y'all give out facts. Y'all don't. Y'all give y'all the opinion, opinion, and y'all try to swirl it around these false ideologies or these false facts, and y'all don't give at the actual facts. Y'all never give numbers. Y'all only tell you, like a lot of y'all don't ever talk about accomplishments. That's when you know that there is a problem. When you see a lot of these black, these black activists or these black journalists, if they never give you any accomplishments that someone did, but they say that they're bad and you ask them, well, tell me what they did wrong and they can't never tell you, don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. Because the, 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 the day you say, well, I disagree. They're going to say, oh, nah, he not, he not kinfolk. He skinfolk. He ain't, nah, nah, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. They just want you to go along with their narrative. Can't do it. So people like Chelsea, why isn't she canceled? Why people ain't talking about her saying things like that? Joe Biden clearly said, if you're not, if uh, you don't vote for me, you're not black. Now she's getting comfortable enough to say, you can't vote for Trump, you're black. To all the people that vote for Trump, what do you say to them if you say that they can't vote for Trump, they're black? That voted for Trump, what are you saying? That they're not black? Because that's the same thing that Joe Biden said. And the, the, to me, the black community, that they, they, these black activists and all these people, they have not said nothing about it. Maybe one, I think one of the BLM What's the names? So, um, the was and they haven't even covered that. She said that she can't support Joe Biden. That's my thing. So that's what kills me. And you guys got to start holding these people accountable. People like her, Chelsea, she should be held accountable. How do y'all let a a a drunk ass white girl who don't know nothing even speak? She gets drunk on television. And y'all y'all respect that? A drunk white woman who's a liberal telling a black man who never had who never had a drink in his life telling me that basically I can't have a a, a mind of my own and and choose to vote for somebody different from what they believe I should vote for. A drunk ass white girl Towards the top, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page, man. Unbelievable.